Hello, welcome to the Inequality Principle. This is Mike Sai. Before I start this, I need to say, I need to come clean on some things. I do not hate atheists. I think atheist, I've read John Stuart Mill on liberty a couple of times. It's probably my favorite book. I believe the best way to have conversations with people is to put up the strongest possible opposing idea and then debate upon that strongest possible opposing idea against your strongest possible idea and have them compete on the field fairly with both sides being represented to their highest possible dimension. That's the only way we can develop our opinions and have them based on principle and reality through these discussions. I think atheists are, for the most part, very logical, very smart, very coherent in their deductions. I think their end conclusions aren't true, but I believe the way they go through the process of trying to discover a truth is valuable. Um, close to the scientific method. Not exact, but it's close to it. They try to remove any possible guesswork out of it. My enemy for this video is not atheism, nor is it ever athe atheism. I think atheism in, in the landscape of competing ideals needs to exist because there always needs to be a antagonizing element to any idea or it becomes stifled and removes progress and removes a sense of identity or purity to that thing. It's, it's kind of like having a muscle and say you used to have a strong muscle, but you stop working on it because you stop applying resistance to that muscle and it begins to atrophy and becomes weak. It's the same thing with an opinion. It's the same thing with a belief. If you do not have that re belief attacked by resistance in all forms, then you don't know if it's a true belief. It will atrophy. You won't be able to defend it. And then if you're not able to defend the belief, it will collapse, not due to the belief being wrong, but due to it being weak from not being tested in various amounts of ways. I think that's the best thing you can do for your belief system is to have it encountered with the strongest possible resistance that you can handle at that point in time and seek to overcome it with your... Uh, thought processes the enemy for me in this video is the youtube comment restriction mother man i hate these guys that whatever the bot is that that doesn't allow me to comment continuously on certain aspects when i'm having a conversation a very well thought out conversation between me and another atheist person in the com comment section they're always censoring my comments on my channel I would never delete a comment regardless of what the comment is unless it's spam or you're trying to sell somebody something or send them to some page where they get their credit ID stolen or uh, promoting an OnlyFans I would never delete a comment that's just exchanging ideas and values of what your perception of the world is no matter how heinous the views are I don't care it's freedom of speech you can have your own beliefs you can have your own perception you can have your own ideas that's the point of America YouTube it's trying to turn America into communist China or North Korea, where if somebody says something around certain guidelines that they don't agree with, they think they can censor it. There needs to be some channel that we can do or some way that we can have a conversation on certain subjects that may not be the most digestible subjects but need to be had because we'll eventually end up there if we keep ignoring the, the signpost just because you don't talk about um hitler and what he did because i can't say the word because they censor those words or just because we don't talk about mao or we don't talk about genghis khan all the things that they've done doesn't mean these things don't happen and if you're not able to talk about it how are you able to warn about the signs that are leading to these things reoccurring. You can't because you can't even use the proper language to, to alert people of what's going on. So all this preventative um, maintenance, trying to, trying to be a bubble boy speech community is going to end up creating the very thing they're trying to avoid because the thoughts don't disappear. They just go deeper and, and darker because they're not able to be released. I was having a conversation with a friend and he was telling me how on Modern Warfare now, the speech is being monitored in, in terms of what you're saying on your mic. They can ban you from a game. Off of what you're saying in your mic to your party. Yo, 
my favorite thing to do getting home from high school was to jump on World War II, I mean, not World War II, uh, War at War and Modern Warfare II and Black Ops and be in those chat rooms and the other team, the other clan's on and I'm on and we're all just talking trash to each other and everybody's saying whatever is coming to their mind. You have to understand that men, we have a certain threshold. We bond through conflict. That's how we bond. We bond through war, through, through competing against each other and then letting the chips fall where they lie. But we have respect because we competed. That's how men bond. And everywhere in society, that has been deemed as an evil that needs to be eradicated for some reason. As if it's not part of our development. There's a reason why in Naruto, it's, it's Naruto out there and it's Sasuke out there from morning till night training together because... They understand they want to get stronger than the other. They want to be able to compete with each other. So they have to keep developing at the same rate or the other one's going to pass. They won't be able to compete no more. Their competition is what drove them to become great ninja. Same thing with Dragon Ball Z, Goku, Vegeta, always training, always training, always developing. Same thing with um, Avatar Last Airbender, always training, always developing his skills to become the best Avatar possible. That's part of the the story, you have to have conflict. Y'all can't just sit here and try to erase points of views just because it doesn't correlate with certain words that you want to hear. You know how stupid that is? There needs to be an overhaul on this YouTube system. They think, oh, yeah, well, you don't have to use our platform because we control la, 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 la. Okay. Okay. That's going to work until the next YouTube comes out. Y'all going to act like Blockbuster right now because y'all have a monopoly on the market. You control everything. You have the best mechanizing unit that we know of. You're going to do that until the next YouTube comes out. That's like Blockbuster that allows people have, people have freedom of speech. Everybody abandons you. And it'll be too late. It'll be too late because y'all tried to govern language and ideas and perspectives for so long. Nobody's going to want to use you ever again. Ever again. You are halting liberty. And nobody believes in the system anymore. Nobody believes in justice. I don't believe in justice. After I just saw what they did to Trump, do you think I believe in the justice system or anything they purport? Do you think I care about what they say? Someone says that's against the law. I'm like, so? What law? What law are you talking about? The law is arbitrary. It's not based off of anything that's across the board true. It's just based off of how they're feeling and what political parties and and what they want to put on you based off of your beliefs and ideologies. It's a fascist system. And they accuse Trump of being fascist. How are you fascist and everybody is a liberal Democrat in power, powerful positions out here that enforce all their liberal standards on us at every single point in time they can? Atheists, I do not hate y'all. I do not hate the people that y'all represent. I don't even hate your perspectives. I don't think they're correct. But I enjoy the conversations, and I think we need to unify on this one particular point that YouTube censorship is out of hand and something needs to be done to counteract. Something needs to be done. One of my favorite things to do, the reason why I made this channel is because I love having discussions with people with varying different viewpoints. And as I build, I want to have discussions with people that I criticize, like Alex O'Connor, you know, like the Red Pill community. Like um, Jordan Peterson or Andrew Tate or um, Sam Harris, all these people that I look at and I'm like, yeah, they have certain ideas I want to explore, see if I can get to the root of why they believe what they believe or why they perceive the world the way they perceive it. That to me is the most enjoyable thing that I can possibly think of doing for as a job. Next to writing my books, next to going to the gym, then it's having... Uh, enlightening discussions with people of varying opinions that will apply resistance where necessary to my ideas and help me formulate a stronger idea of what I believe about the cosmos and the world and myself in it, or if myself actually exists. There's so many elements that I want to play with that YouTube makes it impossible to do. The comment section should be a sacred space where you can explore whatever idea you want and it not be touched and it not be removed unless it's trying to exploit others. If it's just an idea, an idea is an idea. I hope we can unify on this one basis, atheists.
because it's driving me insane. And I think this needs to be removed or there needs to be a site. It's not going to be Rumble because Rumble's functionality and, and intuitiveness and just its color scheme and how it works is just not as good as YouTube. There needs to be something that's better, that's more established, that's created with the advent of AI where it's completely free to speak and put forth your ideas and there's no censorship at all. And it allows everybody of differing viewpoints to engage on that without obstruction. There needs to be something. YouTube, I hope it can be it, but I don't see that happening. All right. Thanks. That's the inequality principle. Peace.